hello guys welcome back to another python tutorial in this video we will be writing a python script which organizes our office files into their separate folders let me show you a very quick example on how it works so this is the folder which belongs to my office in this computer and i have different files and different file types in here like word documents excel documents access databases and pdf files which are all mixed together so if i wanted to make them a separate folder for each one of them then it will take a lot of time for me and think of it right now i have only 590 files if it is around 20,000 files or more, then it will take me a complete day to fix the problem and sort them into their separate folders. Of course, I can do that, but it will cost me some time. So I thought about this and today we will be writing a script which do the task for us in just a second. Let me show you the result of the script as well, then we will be writing our script so this is the script you have to drag the script inside the folder that you want to organize then just run the script and it will do the task for you and separate all your files according to their types into the respected folders you can see all the word files are in the same directory pdf excel and access all of them are separated so today we will write this script using python if you are working in office you can download this script file this exe file from the description and you can go ahead like the video and leave me here but if you are a programmer and want to learn how to write this script then stay tuned with me till the end of the video also don't forget to like and subscribe for such amazing videos in the future so let's get start with writing our code and see how we can implement this so first thing first i will use os module and shuttle module for moving the files let me import them very quick now our first step is going to be defining the path for the source and the destination directory i will do it very quick next i will create separate list to hold separate file types Now I will scan my source directory and add the respected file types into their respected list in here. So I think you have got what I have done till now. Just looping through each and every file which is available inside our source directory and then check if it ends with Word document added into the Word files list here and if it is ending with Excel extension then I will add it into Excel files and like that. So now after this loop we should have all our files into their respective lists up here now using this list we can move our files into their respective destinations so our very first step will be to check if the directory exists or not if this one is not existing we will go and always make directory called uh, word destination our next step is to move these files into this directory but we will get an error if uh, the file with the same name already exists so we have to first check if the file with the same name exists there in the word destination then we have to first rename this file or by appending some numbers at the end then we can move the file without any error so for renaming i will write a separate function 
So in this function, we will pass two parameters. One will be the name of the file that we want to move from source. And the other parameter will be the list of files which are available in the destination directory. Here I just separate the file name and its extension. So let's first take a look at this condition here. I will check if the last character of my file name is numeric. Then I will run the loop and check if the name is available in the destination name. If it is, then I will take the last character of the file name, which is numeric. Uh, suppose it is doc1, then I will take the 1 and increment it by 1 in here and then assign it to the end. Otherwise, I will break the loop. And this condition will check if it is not numeric. If it is not numeric, then I will check if the name is available in the destination name, then I will increment it by one. Otherwise, I will simply return the current document name with extension. So this is the function which will make the name for us and return a name with its extension. Now let's use the function down here. So first we will call the rename function in every single file and we have to check for every occurrence so we don't get any error. So I will call os.rename in every file inside our word files. Uh, os.name will take two parameters, which is the full path for source and full path for destination. So as a source, I have given the path for the current file, which we want to uh, kind of move. And as a destination, I have given the path for our file into our word destination. But here I have called a function inside the os.path.join. You know the source very well, it is our current source. And make name will return the valid name for us. It's simple like that. You just have to take your time and think about this. It is very much easy. So here I have called the move function from shuttle module and again as a source and destination I have passed uh, this one as source and word destination as destination. I have called this make name again here because sometimes it happens that if you have here for example you want to move this file into there it will rename the file and if this file the same file is available inside here it will rename it as uh, by appending a, a one at the end of this file name it will rename it but what if another file is already exists in here which already have this uh, name of one then you will get an error so that's why again i have called this function in here so that is uh, basically it. We have to uh, repeat the same steps for all the all of our file types. I will fast forward this part. So now let's check our program by creating some files. So here I have different files with different file types inside this office folder. If I go and run the program, it will sort. So we have some error here. 
So the error is with our uh, make name function because here I have noticed that uh, I'm not taking the actual name of uh, our file name. I'm just appending that. Uh, I'm taking the last character which will be a digit here and adding that digit with another digit so it will uh, not make sense. I have to take the actual name from start till the end minus one which will exclude the digit from here then I will add the digit by one and then uh, uh, assign it into our name back. So one more problem that I have uh, noticed here that I have returned the file name inside my for loop it should be outside the for loop. So now if I go again here and uh, uh, create some files into my office directory uh, this time if I run the program it should give us no error and uh, all the files should be sorted out so you have seen that our excel files did not get into the directory because here I have given the excel sx uh, the excel file extension in a wrong way now if I run the program it should sort everything out for us so that's basically it our script I hope you have learned something from this tutorial uh, although uh, we have got some error but uh, it will also help you to figure such problems and if you have any problem still you can comment down in the video uh, you can find the source code for this program into my github account if you go to the python folder inside that we have a script where you can find this clean underscore directory i will also make an executable file for this and uh, give the link to the description if you want to download and use it so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and show me some support and i will see you in the next video